Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I'm starting my morning off here in the office. I haven't been actually looking over Marketplace for any good deals for toys or things like that, drinking my cup of coffee. But hey, why don't we head outside to take a look at what's been happening the last week. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button, it's much appreciated. Alright, really quickly, I just want to put my uh, coffee mug there in the kitchen sink, so we should be good to go here. But last week, guys, we actually had the big excavator arrive uh, to dig for the pool here. And over last week, they've been working pretty hard. And take a look at that, guys. The in-ground pool is complete. So this is pretty big here. It's about 15 feet wide, 30 feet long. The deepest area of the pool is about 8 feet here, all the way to the shallow end, which is about 3 feet. It's been pretty big, but one thing guys, Diesel, when we've been outside, he's been going for a swim, so he definitely really likes it so far as well. Alright, let's give some Diesel a bowl of food here, he's going to be coming right on over here, but he's been swimming uh, quite a lot recently, which is great to see here. But guys, the weather sure is changing in the mornings and at night, it's actually quite cold, drops to uh, in the 60s, and then warms back up to 80, 85 here, which I am ex definitely excited for the fall, uh, seeing the leaves change, and also... I just and really enjoying uh, the uh, weather. It was one of my favorite times of the year. Diesel loves the belly rubs here, but let's get going on a few things. Yesterday after work, guys, I took the Ford Raptor with a few buddies to go off-roading on some trails that just opened up, and this thing is covered in mud here. Now driving home, some of the dust and everything was getting off the truck, which is a good thing here. But we'll just give a nice quick wash here. Just to really get all of the uh, mud off here. Might have to bring it by someone that, uh, that can detail it and really get it looking good again here. But wow, that was a lot of fun. I definitely should bring uh, the camera along the next time uh, to show you guys the fun action of off-roading. Alright, we should be good to go there. So up next, guys, the next project, we actually have to put a mailbox in. We built the house, and we just haven't been getting the mail because we have no mailbox. And we do need to set one up here. So let's hop in the Kubota UTV. Since building the house three, four weeks ago, guys, we've been super busy just project after project. And one thing I just forgot completely about was the mailbox here until the uh, post office called and said you need to put one in here. So I said, no problem. I bought one. It's uh, let's just double check. Yeah, we got the mailbox. We have the uh, shovels back there and uh, we have a bag of concrete here. So we should be good to go. One thing I do want to try to get to today if we have time, guys, is... We need to mow the yard here. Just look at that. Wow. It is super tall here. So we'll just get pulled off to the side. Let's find the place for the mailbox though. I don't think there is enough room. Oh, actually there's a little bit of extra grass here. So why don't we put it here? All right, we have the mailbox in. Now you guys might be asking Square, why is it not wood here? This almost looks like it's brick, but this is actually a realistic design. So it's not really a, a stone here. I'm not sure what it's made out of here. Uh, definitely artificial supplies, but I will say that looks pretty cool here. Definitely goes along with the style of the house here. So we'll put all the tools away and put them back in the garage. Guys, I was actually considering selling this Kubota here, but a few of you guys uh, messaged me in the comments and uh, highly recommended that I keep it here. And I've been actually using this quite a lot uh, to pick sticks up that have fallen and different things like that. Uh, so we'll be keeping this here. But now, guys, I really want to get the patio finished. I want to put a small walkway in probably from about here alongside and just uh, get some furniture as well. So let's get going on that. Wow, this took a lot longer than what I was expecting here. I had to assemble a few of the furnitures, 
but this looks awesome so we got these very comfy uh, chairs for alongside the pool we have quite a few of those here I wanted a few of these seats here and then look at this we got some very nice canopies here wow look at that we even have the uh, shade here a few of these I do have to readjust here and a, a few miscellaneous things but that is done so looking at the time guys it's only about three o'clock so why don't we get the mower out get mowing uh, to get our lawn cut so this is actually going to be our first time mowing, which I, is one of my uh, favorite things, especially the first time. It should be pretty cool here. So let's see here. The mower is back here. We'll take a look here. Let's see. Oh, if I back the uh, truck out, yeah, I should be able to get it without having to move the Mahindra. The old Cummins fires right up here. One of my favorite diesel engines. And this thing just keeps on running here. Let's get backed up. Right about there should be good. Let's see here. Uh, hopefully the mower does start here. I think the last time I left the key in the uh, on position here, which definitely I uh, used up a little bit of the battery here. But the mower is going to be awesome. Uh, we have a pretty big yard, about five acres. And this mower, I think, is the right uh, uh, piece of machinery for it our yard because we just have so much to get to mow in here we'll get the deck lower down we're just gonna mulch it here that way uh, i think if we were to collect it, it would take way too long If you guys haven't already, I highly recommend it. you go check me out over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And I've been really enjoying all the videos here. I do have some really cool ideas for some upcoming videos here. Hint, hint at maybe a real life video as well. Hopefully if uh, I can get everything going with that, that should be pretty cool. And just a lot of fun things happening. It's been about three weeks since we planted the sod here, and it's coming out really good here. I've been watering it as much as I can, and I will say this looks awesome here. I think I'm probably just going to do section by section instead of just trying uh, to do the entire yard at once here. I mean, the yard's just too big. Might have to do a little bit tomorrow morning or something if we don't end up finishing tonight. Over time, I will definitely improve at mowing the lawn because I want nice stripes throughout the entire property. But for now, especially the first cuts, I just really want to get the grass mowed here. Just kind of see where we're at. Maybe have to get some fertilizer. Maybe have to get some sod for a few patches that didn't really pick up as uh, the most of the yard has. So it's definitely a little bit of a waiting process when you plant sod. And I just want to make sure the grass is looking good and a well taken care of here. But oh, there's a little bit of a valley almost. Uh, on the side of the yard here. Didn't really notice that when I bought the land. <laughs> now I do have to get the string trimmer out here. I actually have to go along the entire fence. And wow, that is going to be a lot of work here. I might uh, consider doing it every other time I mow. Uh, that might be a little bit easier, save me a lot of time here. So let me know down below, would that be okay uh, string trimming uh, every other time I mow? I don't think it would get too tall. I definitely don't want like a foot of grass alongside the fence. That wouldn't uh, be too good here. But wow, I mean the pool costs us a lot of money, but they did it in one week. And I will say it looks really, really good. Well, I think I'm going to stop for a water break here since it is high 80s right now. So, I think I'm also going to put down the camera. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.